Hey guys, what's happening? So, having an issue with my 3D printer, and uh, I've actually dealt with this many, many times before uh, for customers' printers I fix locally or my own printers. Um, so, I already know exactly what to do, what steps to take. So, my thermistor is having issues. That's an E3D uh, thermistor, and let me show you what I got here. Um, this actually happens quite often. It's probably the, the part that fails the most on these 3D printers. So, if you look on the uh, the tool head here, it's not picking up any sort of uh, temperature. So it should be about 25. That's the that's the 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 hot better here. Um, so it's about 25 degrees Celsius, and I'm not picking up zero on a thing here. So I'm going to use my multimeter and troubleshoot it. But typically, it's either going to be the thermistor, this thing right here, or the cable goes back to the motherboard. But I'll show you how to test that real fast. Yeah, so kind of people wondering, this is my extruder system, it's on my Thingiverse page, but I designed it for ease of use, so I could, this, this actually happens quite a bit, and I wanted a system that I could just take three screws off and just pull it right out. Um, because I hate the ones that where it's, it's so enclosed that it takes forever to take it apart and troubleshoot and fix stuff. So it could either be a clog in here, it could be anything, but it's just three screws, boom, it's out. Okay, so you're going to need a multimeter. Let me turn this one on. That's actually my stand that I designed too, Fusion 360. Uh, it's a B-Sides multimeter, but okay, so here is the uh, E3D. This is E3D, official E3D branded. Actually, what's funny is these E3D ones actually fail a lot. Like the cheaper, like, other ones on, on Amazon ones, I'll put a link down below. Those things actually seem to last longer, so. All right, so I have a Molex 3.0 connector on there, and I actually have a couple others right here. And the original E3D design was this thing right here. So all this really is, is just, you're basically, it's enclosed in, in a piece of metal. So it looks exactly the same, but it's just inside metal. So, um, I'm going to use, a, I'm going to put this in resistance mode. And you have to do it in resistance mode. Because if you do it in continuity mode, um, then um, what's going to happen is it's going to, uh, it won't beep. And it'll be confusing. So you got to put your multimeter in resistance mode. And, and your typical... Their mister is 100k, so I should be getting around 100. This this is actually a good one here. So I would see about 93k, 94. So like when you're in Marlin, you're configuring Marlin, you're choosing that thermistor. So this is 100k. Uh, here, let me show you another one. Yeah, I actually deal with this quite a bit, so it's pretty common. It's probably one of the most one of the most common things to fail. Um, okay, so this is the actual one I'm having problems with. It's not registering. So um, a thermistor basically tells the Marlin what temperature this thing's at. See, that thing's open. So, I'm not getting any sort of response. And to verify that it's not just a connector, you could go down, pull up in the wires, but don't touch your, don't touch on both sides because your body will create resistance. So let me show you that real quick. Just, just me touching the probes will create resistance. So you want to make sure you're not touching your finger on both sides, just one side. Touch the wires. So I'm verifying that it's not just the connector. And then sometimes the wires get twisted up in there too. But if the wires got twisted, then it would give you that continuity. You know, it wouldn't give you just resistance. But because this is a totally open open circuit, um, I know this thing's bad internally. It's basically, this part is actually opened up right here. All right, so that's that. All right, so I'll show you why you have to put this in resistance mode. Because if you put this in just continuity mode, watch this. I mean, I, I mean obviously we know this one's open, so it's not going to do anything. But it's not going to actually beep, so you have to put it in resistance mode. See, no beep. Also, let me show you this too. You know how a thermistor works. So the resistance, cha the resistance changes based on the temperature. So let me get that in there real fast. So I should be getting about 192K. I'm going to touch this with my fingers. Well, see how it's changing? Well, that's how it knows the temperature of your hot end. Because the resistance will change. And this tells Marlin what temperature your hot end is. So as soon as I take it off, it's going to go back up. See that? All right, so these just came in from Amazon. It's a five pack for 10 bucks. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to keep on doing these ones just because I think in the last year between these two printers, I've gone through three of these things. So um, hopefully these ones will last longer. I'm not sure what the deal is. So, 
All right, so before I even put this on, I'm gonna check to make sure that this actually works. So before I fish it down into my printer, I actually wanna make sure this thing actually is giving me a 100K reading or close to it. Uh, yeah, like I said, it would suck the fish all, this, all the way down and have it not work. So test it before you put it back in there. So there should be a 100K, let's see. If I can get in there. There we go. Well, it's a little bit hotter. So, like I said, this all depends on how hot it is. Yeah, so if you're not familiar with a thermistor, a thermistor is basically, it stands for a thermal resistor. So, all right. All right, got it fished in, turn it back on. Go back to the screen. All right, cool, back in business. So these should be very similar. I mean, it's the same temp, the um, heated bed here, and the hot end should be pretty much the same, 26 and 25. So you can also calibrate these things. Um, like I, I guess I, I think I never did another video about it, I'm not sure, but. Um, so if you want to make sure my extruder, it's on my Thingiverse page. It's, uh, it's for like a Bontech setup in E3D, and it just pops out, and the layer cooling fan is actually in the back. I made another video about that, but. Yeah, it's designed for a linear rail, so. Alright guys, cool. Hopefully this helps somebody. Alright, awesome.